supposed to be 100 degrees today, but it's not quite 100 degrees yet, so let's go outside and do this. Okay, here's a little behind the scenes for you. I actually unboxed this like two months ago, but for this video, I want to do an unboxing. So I'm actually going to go rebox it and then unbox it. So you got to promise to be surprised when I'm doing the unboxing and pretend that it's the first time. It's this one. It's the four stage advanced. If you want to go really fancy, we'll go to the six stage. But seriously, just stay tuned for next week because we're gonna upgrade this. So you can get this at Marine Depot. It's $200, it's four stages, one, two, three, four, but the advanced model comes with a flush valve, a dual inline TDS meter, and a pressure gauge. It comes with everything you see here, a user's manual, how to set it up. It comes with whatever the heck this name tool is, which goes under here, you know, and it unscrews it for you. It comes with a faucet adapter. It comes with some RO tubing so that you can set it up. Let me see if I can do the specs from the top of my head. The Marine Depot Clean Water Advanced. Four stage, up to 100 gallons per day. The water starts by going into this site here and it goes through a sediment filter. It's literally like a super dense sponge. You can see the water passes between the two right here. Then it goes into the carbon filter. This whole thing is full of carbon. The water doesn't go to the DI. The water goes out this way. And if you turn it around, let's see. All right, can you see it right here? It's this tube right here. So water goes up and it goes into your RO membrane. Okay, here's what your RO membrane looks like. Oh, let's see if I can focus in here. See this? It's like rolls upon roll, so you can actually undo the tape if you want to, which I've tried to find some B-roll, I've actually done that before. But if you remove this tape, you can pull this out and you can unroll it. Four stage, it's the DI resin. It's color changing, which is fantastic. It turns from this, this dark color to a brown color, and you should change it when it's like a half an inch or an inch away from the top of being brown. So to replace these, you can actually just unscrew them. Try not to make a mess. You see that? See if I can zoom in here. So this is what DI resin looks like. It's like all these little beads, blue and brown, and the blue ones I think are the ones that change the color. You just buy replacement color changing DI resin from Marine Depot. After the carbon filter is where the pressure gauge kicks in. It will let you know if your two pre-filters are clogged and the higher the better, you're gonna get way more product water. You also have a dual inline TDS meter. Number one, we're gonna attach the hose adapter. Step Two, you will need to remove the DI cartridge from the far left chamber before turning on the cold water supply. Oh, oh. Remove. Place. Check. Step three, allow the cold water to run for five minutes to flush the sediment and carbon block filters. This is also a really good time to check for problems. Like, look at this. That should not be happening. Give it a big tighten. Let's see if that works, okay? Here we go, turning it on. Ooh, mother of goodness. I didn't, I, I didn't connect it. Let's try again. It's not, oh my goodness, this is not going well. Zoom in again. Okay. okay, there, there, right here. This is where the problem was, right here. Okay, take two. Oh, no leak. While that's going for five minutes, let's go look at the next step. I think we probably have to install the RO membrane, which is over here. 4A, turn off the water supply, remove the RO membrane. The RO membranes are packed with an antibacterial agent. I don't know that. To keep sterile, you gotta flush that before it's used and allow the flow unit to run for 30 minutes. Couple things to note here, you should see water coming out of both the waste water and the clean water. You know what I really should do is I got 30 minutes and it's only like 90 out, it's not too hot yet. So let's go for my run. It's my wife right there. She's playing a game. Am I lying? Am I lying? No. All right, let's go for a run.
allow the system flush 30 minutes, then reinstall DI cartridge, which we have here. Make two gallons, dispose it. Okay, we need two gallons, clean water, clean line into here, get the water on. Two gallons should not take long with this system, but next week when we upgrade it, it's gonna be even faster. Focus, focus. There, it's focused. Okay, two gallons, it's filling up quickly, dispose of it, and then we're good. Everything's installed except for the inline TDS meter. I already did it. If I find the B-roll footage I already took, I'll be playing it right now. You get out a pair of scissors and you have to cut it in a couple places and then insert it into the inline TDS meter. The first one you want to install after the RO membrane and before the DI resin. That way you'll know when the RO membrane is giving way. And then you want to install the second one at the very end of your clean water because your goal is zero TDS. Did you see the B-roll? Did I find it? I think I found it. My water pressure is okay. It's approaching 60. The product water, it should be zero. Here we go, let's see, ready? Zero. I think that's about two gallons, about halfway full. Two and a half gallons flushed. That's it for Product Spotlight this week. Next week, we're gonna take the exact same four-stage advanced clean water. We're gonna add two more DI resin containers. We're gonna add an additional RO membrane. We're gonna mount it. We're gonna drill holes in our RO reservoir to kind of automate the process and really make it just that much better. Is there anything else? I don't, I don't think there's anything else. So, I feel like I'm missing something. No, not missing anything. The end.